the strength of lighting precluded any film shots of actual swimming events as these were all held in the late evening. But a lot of preliminary work was done on the pool, including extending the supply line further into the sea to ensure clear water and the provision of additional seating for 250 people. Into the 55 yard long pool go the swimmers to train in the four styles allowed for in the schedule. These sessions were held morning and evening with extra practice periods in fresh water at the Bayota pool. In all, 76 officials were used with particular regard being paid to timekeeping. Three special stopwatches on each lane, a chief timekeeper and three reserves. Here are swimmers from the New Caledonian team practicing the starts, strokes and turns they will use in the relay race. All swimming events were well attended and provided much excitement. As in all the competitions during the games, there was a spirit of friendly rivalry. Boxing is introduced by a curtain raiser between Chop Suey and Madras Curry weighing in at 50 pounds. And with that much weight to give away, well, what does it matter if you are disagreeing about the rules? Putting the weight up a bit, featherweight Toma of American Samoa versus Gurumuki of Fiji. 44 boxers from five territories took part in the bout. The Cook Islands, with only six entries, being particularly successful, winning two gold and three silver medals. Almost as many officials were required as there were boxers. 36 were used over the three nights of boxing. Even so, there were not as many referees and judges as we would have liked to carry out the job properly. For all but about a dozen of the competitors, this was the first time they had boxed under international rules. And styles varied almost as much as the standards of performance, which didn't make the referee's job any easier. As host to the first South Pacific Games, my Fijian people entertained their guests traditionally. On the playing field at the Ratu Sir Lala Sukuna Memorial School, territory teams, together with our Great Council of Chiefs, look on. As the Fiji Military Forces Band, led by its well-known director of music, Lieutenant Kini Vava, introduces the program. This group of Fijian women are telling a story in dance and song. The Meke Sea Sea is danced standing up. And the Vagamalolo is performed sitting down. Officials and spectators get together and everyone enjoys their cup of tea. The Vitivo Marching Girls gave a display of one of our newer sports. Contrasting with the older Mekewesi. This spectacular spear dance illustrates traditional war action of a bygone age. In the afternoon, events continue. Competitors prepare for the start of a 100-meter heat. Several heats are run before the final. Which is won by Potha of New Caledonia. Many thousands of spectators of many races attended over the three days the athletics were held. This is the first heat of the men's 800 meters. won by Navasolo of Fiji. Not all the starts were faultless, but no one was disqualified for two consecutive faults.
the second man. Joyce of Papua New Guinea later went on to win the final of the 800 meters. The starter was a busy man. He had up to 20 events a day to get away, such as the start of the 800 meters third heat. Won by Rockavessa of Fiji. And this is the men's 10,000 meters, 11 competitors from five countries. In the early stages of the race, the competitors went slowly because it was rather hot. Several competitors didn't finish. Here they are towards the middle of the race, running fairly easily. And the last lap, Sala Kaleka of Fiji overtaking Mango the Gilberts, who sprints back but cannot catch him. Sala Kaleka of Fiji running away. As the medals are presented by distinguished guests or officials, the flag of the winner's country is raised and their national anthem played. While the spectators honour the occasion by standing in silence. events and practice, the athletes find time for relaxation, characteristic of their own countries. This is a group from the Cook Islands. The girls find that the basic rules of washing don't vary, and that a linen line serves to bring one's farm neighbours so much nearer. bus service took people from the villages to the venues.
a final score of 27-26 in favour of PG. This very fast game obviously delights the spectators. Watching other people expending a lot of energy can be an exhausting business. Men's 800 metres, they're off. Runners bunched together in the first lap. Another solo of Fiji going out to lead the field. Here he comes towards the end of the first lap. Golaz, French Polynesia, coming up behind him. All striding out. Going into the second lap now. Another solo of Fiji still leading. Golaz, French Polynesia, second. And the runners closing up. The pace seems to be quickening now for the second lap. And here we are, the last. Joyce, Papua New Guinea, breaks. 150 yards to go and it's Joyce. Joyce, Papua New Guinea, striding away from the field. Navasolo goes after him, Rocavesa coming after him, but Joyce keeps his lead and he is winning. Two yards, he wins with Fiji second, third and fourth. These timekeepers were locally trained to administer international rules. Various events take place simultaneously. From an entry of 15, eight men qualified for the javelin event in the morning, though these throws did not count for the final. Wakilina of New Caledonia. Soliai from American Samoa is one of the qualifiers. Linga of Fiji. Eva Haria of Papua New Guinea. The throwing circle is an arc of 23 feet radius. This job demands two judges at the throwing end and another two at the landing end. Hurdles, of course, are made to be taken in one stride. In the 80 meters, the only distance for... In the pole vault, Latu of Tonga makes 11 feet 6 inches look easy. Though the side supports are calibrated, measurement has to be taken at the centre of the bar before and after the jump. Wewa of New Hebrides. And Malatana of Papua New Guinea. Entertainment was organised, but plenty of time was allowed for the athletes themselves to set the pace, and many brought their traditional costumes and rhythms with them. The Western Samoans are rehearsing their knife dance for a Games Village concert. Polynesians obviously enjoy rehearsing their Tahitian island dance. Attendance throughout the games was very good, with some 64,000 spectators watching the various events. 
In their off time, fellow competitors join the crowd ready to applaud any good performance. Miss David of French Polynesia puts the nine pound shot. And Miss Naimoto of Fiji. For the men, the weight goes up to 16 pounds. As there were 13 entries, the preliminary rounds, or seeding, took place on the second day of the games, the finals two days later. Taitoa of American Samoa. Tokawa of New Caledonia. Dusto of French Polynesia puts 35 feet 2.5 inches. And His Excellency presents the medals for the women's shot put to Turukawa of Fiji, Tetuaiva of French Polynesia, and Poor of Western Samoa. The hub of the arena, from where the arena manager directs his staff of One and eventually wins first place by jumping six feet three inches. The medals are presented by His Excellency the Governor. The triple jump at one time called hop, step and jump. The winner, Kadua of New Caledonia, jumps 46 feet eight and a quarter inches. The wind gauge is read for every single jump for if the wind is blowing at more than two metres a second, the jump is wind assisted and cannot qualify for a record. The discus thrown here by Putoa of American Samoa weighs four pounds six and a half ounces. And Miss Sulami Rakuro of Fiji 